the alphabet on the other. <laughs> yes, it's adorable, isn't it? Oh, do the right ball. The jackpot! Jackpot! Two imperial ounces. Not much good for beer, ale, or cider. But for spirits, whiskey, brandy, rum, gin, turpentine. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. Now, if you enter into a friendly wager, a bar bet, with a friend of yours while down Road Pub, and you lose that friendly wager, customarily, you would buy the winner of that bet a round of spirits. So if you are the winner of that contest, you win the... That's like the circle of knowledge in the crowd. Right, next up, Jigger Pot! Look at that, isn't that adorable? It's bloody useless, but it's adorable. It's one imperial ounce, it's also called a pony. In a few hundred years, the jigger will become the standard bar measurement for mixologists, cocktails, which will evolve in the Americas with the development of cheaply made ice. Science marches on, it's fabulous. The jigger will evolve into one and a half ounces. Because why? Man needs more alcohol. <laughs> right, next up, the mouthful. The mouthful. Look at that. That's adorable. Put your glasses on in the back. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm actually holding something. It looks like I'm just doing this, don't I? Yeah. That's one half of an imperial ounce. Now, by that reasoning, my 20 ounce pint has 40 mouthfuls. Yeah, yeah. Who here has ever gotten 40 mouthfuls out of their pint? That's bloody bureaucrats for you. <laughs> Lastly, the brown bowl. The brown bowl. Who knows what the brown bowl is? It's like a punch bowl. It's, it is a punch bowl, but it's actually something else even more meaningful than that. Hmm. It's all the Research lesson. marches on. <laughs> he, he's right. The brown bowl was sometimes what the punch bowl at the end of the bar was called, where they would throw all the half-drunk drinks, half-drinking drugs, drunk, no, drunk drinks, that's it, into the bowl and mix it up. It was called all sorts and really, really nasty, but cheap. But the meaning goes back even further. The brown bowl is what sets us apart from the animal kingdom and further proof that God loves us and wants us to be happy because we were born with our own drinking vessel, the brown bowl. This is, this is lovely. I'm, I'm tearing up. <laughs> Why isn't he singing? I don't understand this. All right, I'll sing. Here's good luck, good luck to the barley mow, barley mow. You know where this is going, eh? To your health. Now, I have to ask you, what did I just do? A toast, a toast to your health. Now, if I toast to your health, and you do not want to insult me, what would you do in return? 